Hey guys, I'm really, really excited about this video right here because this is going to be amazing, especially for us children's authors. Have you ever noticed how traditionally published authors have this section right here? So this is the um, Amazon page of this beautiful children's book, What Do You Do With a Problem, right? So this is traditionally published. And if you scroll down, it has this beautiful extra section right here where it says from the publisher and it has all these beautiful extra pictures, images right here, some text right here with more images, some from the interior of the book. And then this one here is an actual table other of all the other books in the series. And then with a little explanation right here, and if you click on it, it'll actually click through to, to each individual book right here. So that is amazing. And then here's another section right here with the author and some extra text, some bio right here. So that's what traditionally published authors were able to do or their publishers, right? That's what they added for them. And the great news is that Amazon just made some changes where indie authors can also add their own content. And what they call it, what KDP calls it, what Amazon calls it is A plus content. And so now we will be able to add the same to our books. And I will show you in this video how to do so. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Evie Jones over at eviejones.com from Children's Book University. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe as well as give it a like. Okay, so let's go ahead and start um, with the process. The first thing I do is I'm big on research. I look what they, what others are doing, right? So that's what the traditional publisher created for this author right here. So I went over to Canva. Canva is, if you don't know it, it's free. Go to canva.com, simply sign up, and then you can create your own images. And what I wanted to do was create my images for my series, Braving the World. Okay, so that's a book series with five books right now. And so what I did was I created a canvas um, right here. It says um, 970 by 300 pixels. 970 is the minimum for an image on Amazon that goes across the whole page. Okay, so keep that in mind. So 970 by 300, that's just what I ended up choosing. And so I added a shelf right here. I added some background. This is my logo for my series. And then I simply added the covers of my book in the series. So if you have a series, you can do the same. But but really, as you saw here on the other author's page, you can make it look however you want to. Now this year, I will show you later once I uploaded. These are actually individual images right here. So they created three columns where they added three individual images. What I did, what I wanted to do was I wanted to keep my three images in a row. So what I did, I simply created one single image and then I made it look like there are three different blocks of images. If you see here, this is white, just like the background on Amazon. So it will look like these are three separate images. And the reason I like doing this is because I will show you later when, you know, you can switch between cell phone view and desktop. That way it'll stay in a row so people don't have to scroll as much. You can create whatever you want to create. So what I wanted to do for this, um, I wanted to create different images for each of my books in the series. So this one right here is for this book from me to we. I took a couple of pictures of my book from the inside, different angles and different pages. And then I simply uploaded them here onto Canva. And then I added some of the verses that are from my book, some quotes from the book. Okay. So I added that, I downloaded it and um, saved it onto my computer. And now I will show you how to upload it. So the first thing you will want to do is log into your KDP account. Okay. Once you're inside your KDP account, click on the marketing tab here on the top. And this is the page that will open. So go ahead and scroll down all the way to a plus content. And you can see right here, it says it's so new. It still says it's new. Okay. So the first, the first thing you want to do is click the market. You will have to create different ones for each of the different markets. So I'm going to click on amazon.com and then click on manage a plus content. If you do this for the very first time, this will be empty. These are the ones I already played around with that I already created and they're still in review. -proof. So to create a new one, you will go up here and click on start creating a plus content. 
and then you will create um, a file name. So you can see each of these as their own individual file, for example. So you can create content per module, or you can create it per series, or you can create it per book. So it's completely up to you. What I like to do for this particular book series is I create um, a different set of modules per book. So I'm going to name it based on the book I will want to add it to. So that's my book. And again, here's the language English that I was telling you about. Okay, and so now we can add our first module. So go ahead and click Add Module. And these are all the different types of modules you can add. So you can have right here, um, if you want to add a logo, I. I don't want to add a logo, but if you want to, you can do that. Then this is the table I showed you earlier. If you look at this author again right here, that table down here, that's what that is right here, that module, okay? And then the three columns, that's this module right here. I just want to have one single image, so I'm going to go and scroll down, and I will choose this one right here, standard image, and light text overlay. I actually don't want an overlay, but if you don't fill out this box, you won't see an overlay. So go ahead and click that. And this is the first image right here. And I'm going to add background image and click on this right here and go look on your computer, browse on your computer to find the image you want to add. So I'm using this one. I open it. And if you remember, that's the first image I created in Canva, okay? Now down here, you can add image keywords. People on the front end won't see it. This is for people that have impaired vision so that they can use the screen reader applications, okay? So I'm going to add the text right here. Go ahead and click on add and see this box right here. If I don't fill it out, it will disappear later on. So don't worry about that if you don't want it as an overlay. I'm going to go ahead and add another module. Click the same. Again, you can pick whatever you want, your own choices. You can make your own choices right here. So I click this one again. I click on Add Background Image. I'll do the same process again and look for the image that I created for this particular book. Okay, Figure Outable, Image 1. Go ahead and open it. So that's the first one. And again, I go ahead and add some text right here and add it. So that's the first one. And I want to add one more, add another module. And again, you can add as many as you want to. So go down here and do it one more time. And that's where it comes in really handy when you name your images properly so you know right away what it is. You can also use keywords, of course, and name it one more time and add it. Okay, so right now we have the first one here with all the books from this series and then some quotes that are book specific. Okay, so that looks good. If you want to change the order, you can do that too. If you want this one, for example, in the end, at the bottom, you can make it move down and move it back up. But I want to uh, leave it like that. So the next step is to go ahead and apply it to your books, to the books that you want it to show up for. So you can actually add, that's why I said in the beginning, you can create this file here for different series or for all your books. You can make it look the same for all your books. If you want to do that, go ahead and do that because you can apply different books to this entire file. So go ahead and click apply ASINs or ASINs. Okay, so what I want to do now is search for my book. So I go ahead, I want to apply to my book figure outable, which I already pulled up right here. So that's the Kindle right here. So I go down and I look for the ASIN, ASIN. I usually call it ASIN. ASIN is too long. Okay, put that in and it'll fetch it right here. See, that's the, that's the right one. So that's the ebook and I click on apply content. It's eligible right here because it has been, this book has been published through KDP. So I click on apply content and then it's pushed down here to this list right here. Okay. Now I also want to apply it to my paperback. So I go ahead and scroll up and go to my paperback and go down and get the ISBN 10 right here. Go back and put that in here so it can search for it again. 
it's fetching it, click on it. And again, it's eligible because I published the paper back through KDP as well. So I apply the, the content. If you look down here now, we have the ebook and we have the paperback. Now I wanted to show you really quickly because I do have a hardcover as well. So I, if I click on the hardcover to get the ISBN 10 as well and scroll down, grab it really quick and then run a search for it. So I clicked it. If you can, if you see over here, now here in the eligible column, it actually says it's not eligible. And the reason why is because this is a hardcover and I did not publish it through KDP. So we can only apply the A plus content to books and eBooks that have been published directly through KDP. Okay. So I just wanted to show you really quick. So now I have it for the paperback up here and for the eBook go up. And again, here we can see it's a, it has been applied to two different ASINs. Go ahead and click on review and submit. And don't worry, you get to review it first before it's submitted. So click on that and it'll generate this preview right here. So we have the first banner right here, the one with the shelf, the second one with the images and the third module that we have created. So when you have text on there, make sure go ahead and proofread it really quick and also go ahead and see what it looks like on a phone. So go ahead and click that. Okay. Right. And so this is what I mentioned earlier that if I were, if I would have chosen three images, these would have shown up underneath each other, not in a whole row. It wouldn't have stayed in a row and I wanted it to stay in a row, but again, that's completely up to you. So I like the way it looks. So I will go ahead and submit it for approval. Here we go. And then it will say right here that as of right now, because it's really new, it takes up to seven business days to be reviewed. And if approved, it can take up to 24 hours to appear on your sales page of your book. So go ahead and submit for approval. And you're all done with this one. And if you want to add another one, if you want to create another one, simply go over here to the left where it says A plus content and you are back in your A plus content dashboard right here. And that's these, you can see all the ones that you have created. You will see how many ASINs it has been applied to. And here is the content status. I am so excited about this new change. I cannot wait to see what you're going to create for your own children's books. Bye guys.